Hey guys, um, this video I want to show you a little project that uh, I've been doing. Uh, but first, I would like to thank uh, Midlick and I would like to thank Mike <coughs> for making this possible. What this is? This is a trainer setup. This is a, a receiver, one of Midlick's receiver, inside the radio, connected to the trainer port of the radio in internally. Yeah, the, the receiver is installed, you can see this receiver is installed here, it's so small it can be installed here. Yeah, and this is the bind button and the LED, right? This can be installed in the 9X radio, uh, just uh, beside the trainer port and under, uh, under between the case and the, this uh, PCB on the back of the radio where the module is, right? So is that easy? This is the schematics. I like uh, Mike is supporting this on the on the on ER Skynet X. Uh, not fully implemented yet, so it's not still not on the menu on the trainer menu. <coughs> it's in one of the debug debug <laughs> debug <laughs> can't speak anymore debug menus, and uh, the settings are still not saved. You can you have to do these settings. You have to uh, change these settings every time you turn the radio on. Uh, <clears throat> what does this do? This receiver here outputs uh, SPUS. Uh, and uh, you ask kind of next now this the latest uh, test version. I think is 2019 or so. There are several 2019s, the latest one. <clears throat> can receive S bus and the trainer port. Yeah, remember the receiver is connected internally to the trainer port inside the radio, not with a plug. Uh, and uh, ah, another thing is uh, if a PPM from another radio is connected, it will override the signal from the receiver, which is what we want so this is inside the radio installed fixed there but if some other radio is connected if, if the user decides to use ppm the ppm will override this receiver the s bus signal anyway as i said this is still in the debug uh, menus so we have to change settings i will show you how, how to how to do that I asked Midlick if he could, because he, he presented us with these schematics for the uh, receiver with the A tiny, 80 tiny, uh, 85, with a very uh, low power, with a low power module, uh, CC 2500 module. I have uh, this is not a LP 2980, it's a 985 that I have here, and uh, I had to modify this, put a pull up here because the the radio was entering bind mode bind mode because the binding button is here as you can see the radio was entering binding mode as soon as I turned the radio on so the, the receiver was entering binding mode that's not good so it would not work uh, and then Mike in mid league they both helped me to get to this um, to this uh, schematic here not sure if the diode is necessary or not I uh, will have to test that, but it's working, so I'm not going to do anything. It took me a long time to, to install this in the radio because I, it didn't work and I couldn't understand why. The thing is, for the non-extreme radio, which is that one, there's a non-extreme board inside. This resistor here has to be a 4K7 or 5K1, around 5 kilo ohms. And for the AR9X board, for the Skyboard, and for the 9XR Pro, this resistor needs to be around 10k. This pull up can be 15, can be 22, so it's not that critical, but 15 works. Um, yeah, well, let's see if we can. Um, I'm going to show you how to, to work with this. So, well, we have two radios here. This is a student radio. My radio, the AR9X board, great board by the way, very cheap, 
thirty dollars and you get a radio that can do basically everything here there's another excellent board inside that's non extreme board a bit more expensive but you get also a lot of extra pins that belong to the because this one is an add-on board add-on board that sits on top of the the 9x main board this one's replace it replace the 9x main board so what happened you can use the analog pin analog um, inputs and digital inputs formally used for the sticks on the normal 9x board and you can use extra for extra ports extra for sliders for extra switches whatever you want to do so it's more expensive but it's also very very nice uh, so I'm going to show you how to work with this as I said the receiver is installed inside the radio what we have to do first we have to bind the receiver on this radio to the um, I got um, a free sky DHT module on this one so we have to bind both yeah and what we do very simple we have to turn the radio on with while just while pressing the receivers binding button I don't know if I can do this and hold the phone at the same time I can try and just turn it on welcome to ER Sky 9X the receiver switch morning. Return the switch that does the matter doesn't matter because we are binding the receiver so as you can see the receiver is in bind mode it's flashing very fast what we do now now we have to turn this radio on while holding the bind button of the DHT module free sky model I don't know if I can do this let me see if I can if I can <laughs> do it and welcome to ER sky 9x I'll try Throttle is not in a safe position. So, it's in bind mode, and this should should bind now. It changed, so is bound. What we have to do now? We turn this one Shut off. Down. Goodbye. And just turn it on again to finish it finish the bind finish the bind normal is the fail safe programming but <clears throat> this receiver doesn't output fail safe but we have to do the same procedure right so I just turn this on okay the bind is complete and this receiver doesn't have fails so I just turn turn it uh, off now obviously because you have to take the receiver out of binding mode Turn it off and turn it on, and you will see that should be to ER Sky bound. Switch warning. Return the switches to their default position. What switch? Simulator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So now you can see that the LED from the receiver is on. That means they are bound. And actually, they are the receiver is receiving from this radio here. <clears throat> um. I was saying that uh, it is necessary I said that receiver that normally the receiver has fail safe yeah you can program the fail safe at the same time you bound you bind the receiver in this case ask midlick not to program fail safe to uh, send me a, a file to flash in the receiver that stops pulses that is this is very very important for this uh, project why because ERS Canon X recognizes that the link between instructor and student was lost if the pulses stop if you receive no signal and then the radio automatically regains control of the model so the teacher will have control if something happens so this is very important that the receiver stops the pulses and that's what happened I'm going to show that to you anyway I said I said before that uh, we need to configure a debug uh, menu here on your Skynet X as this is not still 
this is still not fully implemented it is still being tested and I'm doing this video so you can test as well by yourselves you can help testing this and finding problems so we go to the debug where this is debug menu so keep going left uh, press to enter the debug as you know press long up to enter the debug menus debug screens and keep pressing left until you find one called train diag that's a trainer diagnose screen as you can see here go to trainer mode and change it to serial which is S bus trainer mode normally you receive PPM normal the normal mode you receive PPM on the jack on the trainer port yeah if you change to ser serial the radio expects S bus on the trainer port right then change this from neg to pause from neg negative to positive to invert the signal from the S bus and we all set remember these settings are not saved are not yet saved in the EPROM so you need every time you want to use this you have to set this again when you turn the radio on right so now we can exit go to the trainer menu you can go to radio setup trainer or as you know might know you have four profiles on here is kind of X four trainer profiles you can uh, assign Bluetooth to one jack to other S bus to other whatever or um, just slave to other you can choose the profile so you go to general and from general enable the trainer here normally there's a name normally there's a name I didn't put any name on the on the trainer on this trainer profile just press me long to go to the trainer profile okay as you can see there's jack chosen there selected there the name can be inserted here we have the switches rudder you have this channel assignment to the corresponding sticks of the radio you have the mode from the trainer and here we have the calibration values that means we can see already if this is working if we are receiving trainer from the other radio so I'm going to move the sticks And we are you can see the numbers changing see there so we are good to go we are receiving s bus in the trainer port and the trainer in this radio is uh, reacting to it we can of course you can hit calibrate we can just I can just center all the controls center the controls you can see and just hit calibrate on the trainer menu and hit menu boof it's calibrated now you can see more or less <laughs> okay you can exit this and actually see this working so my trainer switch is the red rudder switch as you saw and uh, at the moment I have control on this radio I will turn the rudder switch on and as you can see I have control from the other radio you can see uh, good it works I didn't test the range from this I still didn't test the range from this but I expect to be better than the, the Bluetooth actually uh, at least the tests I did here at home uh, was good anyway as a trainer teacher setup you don't need to be very far away from from each other <laughs> you're not speaking to each other over a megaphone are you <laughs> anyway so what I want to explain now what and uh, this is very important this is about the pulses they are lost they are stopped when the link is lost imagine that for example uh, the radio the trainer the student radio loses bind 
lose signal with the receiver here yeah so we are flying the student is flying and suddenly boof radio goes off oh there is immediate control from here see the pulses stop and automatically the teacher radio sees that pulses have stopped and takes control of the model you don't even notice so fast this system works so fast I'm going to turn now the other radio on from the student I'm moving the teacher I'm moving the teacher and poof automatically the student has control as you can see you saw you saw that uh, I'm going to do different I'm going to stop the pulses Shutting down. see automatically teacher has control now I'm going to turn it on I'm going to start moving the controls on the student so you see how fast this is reacts and I turn I'm moving now the controls on the student radio look immediately the student has control as well as immediately the teacher has control if link is lost this is absolutely great and again thanks to Mike and thanks to mid league for doing this this is uh, wonderful I will uh, put some um, hopefully if I can find some pictures of the receiver I don't know if I took some I didn't take any picture of my installation inside the radio because uh, <laughs> I was very busy installing it and it was not working so at the end I forgot to take pictures so I do apologize for that this is not this is not um, this is this video is not intended to be a, a tutorial this is just to show you what I have been me and Mike and Midlick what we've been up, up to and this I think this is going to be a very very nice thing I think this being only re, only a receiver this has no telemetry there's no telemetry here so I think it will not influence on the main link from the radio this just receives just a receiver while the Bluetooth is bidirectional it's bidirectional so the receives and transmits at the same time um, and uh, I've seen it sometimes have an impact on the on the main uh, on the main module especially on the telemetry reception so hopefully I still have to text to test this outside uh, hopefully this will work very well it looks like it is working I've been um, using this on the simulator just to test the link the link is strong and uh, no uh, control surface is shaking or anything else it's just uh, wonderful so I will post what I have on the forum hopefully I can find some pictures that I did that I can remember <laughs> Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoy this, and I hope you enjoy building this because it's really, really nice. Take care.